Look at all those monsters. Look at all those... All that pipe works. Look at all that bankruptcy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look at all the not money they're making nowadays. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and every other beautiful individual and entity, my name is Maximum Austin, and today we are going to be uh, taking a look at a video game that I think is pretty neat. It is slowly being revealed to us. Almost. Right now. It's Godzilla. Destroy all monsters melee. A fighting game where you get to play as your favorite Godzilla monsters circa 2002. Run, Godzilla! He's very scary. It's, I'm gonna stop doing that. And here's the intro. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool. We got um laser chicken, beetle man. And the... we also have... I don't even know. <laughs> Let's start the carnage. So, with this... this game came out in like 2002, uh, and was... I don't know what spurred it. Um, I don't know why, uh... Uh, the developers wanted to make a Godzilla game in 2002, but, uh, here we are. <laughs> but, um... This game is pretty freaking sweet. These are the characters I unlocked already. Uh, we got... King Ghidorah, Godzilla, Godzilla 90s. Uh, we got uh, some fan favorites, some weird looking ones. Which is my style. Uh, we're probably going to do either Godzilla. We'll do the more modern Godzilla Millennium. And we're going to play through the story mode, which involves aliens. I mean, of course. Alien invaders from a distant all, all great things involve aliens. Uh, I remember getting a DVD disc that was free back in like 2002 at a, a brick and mortar store that had promos for GameCube games. And uh, this included a trailer for uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters, so that's cool. There's the aliens. They're going to use Earth's monsters to take over the world. Resistance is futile. We are legion. We are but many. You are but one. control and defeat the others. That is all. So let's get into the gameplay. Oh. Oh. Hey, well, we now return you to whatever it was you were doing. Idiots. Um, if I remember Invasion of Astro Monster, uh, that... Godzilla. Yeah, that, they, that guy doesn't look... Wouldn't look out of place in a, uh, 60s, 70s Toho Godzilla film. So, anywho, here's the game. You have three attack buttons, punches, kicks, a special attack, um, the Z button does a laser, does the atomic breath, which is different for most characters. And uh, yeah, it sort of works. Obviously from the title you can put two and two together and realize that this game sort of was capitalizing on uh, Smash Brothers a little bit. Just a little bit, even though it plays more like Power Stone than anything, with a 3D arena. Get over here, you... But this game is pretty tight, and I think it's one of their first good Godzilla games ever to come out in the States. And I think it was developed in the States, oddly enough. So let's... This game is pretty awesome. So we'll go ahead... But yeah, the, as far as single player goes, you just go through and uh, defeat the monsters, defeat the bad guys, and progress. 
And also you get pickups in certain stuff. But yeah, this if I you may have heard oh freaking there we go. You may have heard um or seen this game in um, James Rolfe's uh, AVGN video on Godzilla. And uh yeah, these, uh this is what this is the start of what would have been of what is like a solid run of Godzilla games in the 2000s. There we go. And there we go. King Ghidorah is down for the count. <laughs> the coolest and also stupidest looking monster around. Which is cool. And we're going to go go through the world. Fight some bad guys. Monsters. Fight. And obviously you can pick up buildings and stuff like that. I really... I don't know the circumstances of how this video game came about, but uh, I guess some people just wanted to play a Godzilla game. They wanted to use the Godzilla license, and that's that on that. And also, your character can jump. Which is pretty neat. And I also like some of the throws. They definitely feel <laughs> like how a, an actor would, a suit would be thrown in like the, uh, in any Godzilla film uh, before and even after this. Oh, you can also pick up uh, item pickups. You can summon Mothra. That's cool. Come the no 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 I'm not doing super hot but... yep so I guess Toei was like a... okay we don't mind we don't mind you making a Godzilla fighting game like here we'll license it we'll get you all the characters all the monster roars and sound effects. We have no trouble. Ah, oh, jeez. Megalon. Don't be a Megalon. Be a Godzilla. Whew. I will have it... I will have it... Be known that I'm a big Godzilla fan. There we go. I really do enjoy the character and uh, most media he's in. And I really enjoy a lot of the monsters. I think they're pretty neat. Anguirus. This, uh, this game only has like 10 monsters starting out, but sequels made by the develop made by the developers, I think they would expand upon it a, a little bit more. Add, add like different versions of monsters, different, make Mothra playable for one. That's cool. As I was saying, there's like little pickups that appear in the arena. You can get health, you can get um, uh, replenishments for your meter that charges your beam attack or breath attack. You can get a Mothra assist or uh, you can get a rage um, pickup and that'll activate your rage where you can do a special move or you'll become super powered. So that's neat. Look at this destruction, look at this carnage. Isn't this not one of the most glorious things you've ever seen in your life? Nick freaking thought so. Also, if you tap the breath button, you can, uh, I guess beam, whatever. Uh, it'll do a special, special thing. So 
So I think this first game is really solid. I think I think sequels would improve on it, improve on things a little bit, but and add more characters and content and stuff. But I think this is a solid game. Come. And Gears, I've had enough of you. You can also pick up buildings. So a little nifty little fun. It's a really nifty little fun uh, fighting game in the vein of like Power Stone, sort of. Uh -oh. And there we go. And Gears is down for the count. It's only Godzilla. Ah. 